How's it going guys? The sixth update for Forza Motorsport has just been announced. So in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about update 6 and what we can expect next. Let's get straight to it. Forza Motorsport update 6 rolls out for download from 10am PT or 6pm UTC on all consoles. The spotlight cars, the career, the featured multiplayer and rival events, so pretty much everything in the update, doesn't begin until March 13th or March 14th depending on what time zone you're in. Rev your engines in Forza Motorsport update 6. It invites you to explore different engines in this update, the beating heart inside of your favourite cars. We've got the new featured tour, the combustion tour, with added spotlight cars and car pass deliveries each week. Now the main talking point for this update is one, there is no new track. The next track is in update seven, rumoured to be Brands Hatch, more on that in a minute. But the car progression is finally changing. Now we've spoken about this before, let's have a quick brief overview of what is changing with the car progression in this update, finally. The changes coming to car progression in update six Will ha will, you will have the freedom to equip the parts you want to install on your car regardless of car level. The first change is to remove the level description, description restriction on performance parts, making them all available at car level 1. So car level 1, everything is available. You will still need to acquire car points to install them, which you can now purchase car points for 4,500 credits per 500 car points so as it is possible now to jump in a car straight away and fully upgrade it if you have enough credits you don't have to do any driving that's kind of the thing that people have been wanting the capability to do now if you don't want to spend credits on car points you can still just play the game normally level up your car get car points the normal way rather than having to spend your credits on them now i'll post on screen the full sort of blog that they put of the car progression system in detail if you want to know exactly how it works that is coming in this update make sure to subscribe if you're finding this video helpful guys it helps out massively let's continue update 6 introduces new fixes and experience improvements including additional lighting options for the livery editor to help players see how the design looks in different conditions and following the addition of Daytona, they have heard our feedback about the pit lane exit. They have changed the pit lane exit to address track rejoin collisions and more closely reflect the track as it is used in real life events. So they've changed up the pit exit. Now there's been bugs and fixes as well. There's only six that they've listed. We'll have to wait for the full change log to see everything that was fixed in this update. We'll, we'll see that in the next video at least. Spotlight cards are featured in the showroom every week. You can acquire any of these for 30% discount for this given uh, month. You'll see when the discount starts and ends for each car. Now what's interesting is previously, every Spotlight car has been a new car to the game. Now if I'm not mistaken, only two of these Spotlight cars are actually new. The Alfa Romeo and the Lamborghini Huracan. The Nissan Skyline GTR R34 and the Dodge Charger, I'm pretty sure are already in the game. Um, so yeah, there's only two new Spotlight cars this month. Now, if you're a VIP member, you'll get 15% discount on the 93 McLaren F1 in the showroom. There you go. Now to the Car Pass cars. This is also an interesting topic. All four of these Car Pass cars are obviously new. We have the 1983 Nissan Number no. 23 Motorsport Silvia Super Silhouette, 2019 Toyota 86 TRD SE. 2020 Lexus Vassour Sullivan RCF GT3 and the 1986 Lotus Team Lotus 98T. Those are the four car pass cars available for all car pass owners. And I think, if I'm mistaken, is, is that the car pass complete? Is that all of them complete? Now we'll talk about the car pass again at the end of this uh, video because there's one car that was leaked on the car pass leaks that we haven't got yet that we should have got in this video. We have the new career tour. It's called the Combustion Tour, and it seems to want you to explore all different types of engines. We've got four cylinders, we've got six cylinders, eight cylinders, and tens. That seems to be what the tours are split, on, split up into. Four cylinder cars, six cylinder cars, V8s, and then V10s, which lines up exactly with all spotlight cars. You can see all the necessary details on screen as usual. Now, if you complete the Combustion Tour, you will earn the next new car, the 2009 Pagani Zonda Shinke, Shink Shinkwe Roadster. I think that's how you pronounce that. You have until April 24th to finish this, so plenty of time. It's uh, well over a month for that. So that is the Pagani Zonda is the seventh new car. Yeah, seventh new car that we've touched on so far. Now there's another open class tour, engine cylinders. Again, it's still following the same kind of 
uh, rule of this being all about engines. In update 6, cylinder count is king in this unique twist on open classic tour with Drivatars racing cars ranging from modest to high performance engines. There's C, B, A and S class are available on March the 13th and your reward for completing all four of these before April the 10th is the 8th new car the 2010 Ferrari 599XX. So the new cars in this update aren't really new to Forza. There's quite a few that aren't, like the Hurricane isn't new, this one's not new, the Pagani Zonda isn't new. They are new to the game, however, so we have to call them new cars. But those are the eight new cars of this update anyway. Featured multiplayer, spec and open series. Again, all the relevant information about that can be seen on screen. There's no new car within the featured multiplayer. They never really do that. If you want to know when everything is and what cars they're in, you can see everything on screen right now. Featured rivals is obviously a thing as well. We can see all the information about that. Again, like every update, there is a rivals event in every new spotlight car. There's an extra one for the VIP members. And then there's another one which would usually feature the new track, but in this set, in this case, it's the Sub Silverstone GP circuit. So they seem to follow the same theme for the, for the monthly rivals every month. That is that is update six that is update six summed up entirely eight new cars no new track car progression and all of the other goodies now rolling back on a couple of the other things i wanted to talk about the car pass this is the list of leaked car pass cars that was leaked many many months ago and to this day every single one has now been added apart from the mcmurtry spearling if that's how you pronounce it. I'm terrible at pronouncing these, can you tell? What I'm gonna highlight right now, ignore the dates. These were the four cars that were supposed to come in this update. The Cadillac below it came in, a, in an update a few months ago earlier. So those were the four cars that were left. Now we got the Toyota, we got the Lexus, and we got the Lotus, but we didn't get the, the McMurtry. What we got instead was, I can't even remember what it was now, what was it? We got the Nissan Motorsport Silvia Super Silhouette number 23. That was what we got instead. Now that isn't actually on this list at all. So that was kind of a surprise for this update. No one really expected that. But it does make me wonder, are we going to get that McMurtry? Because it was one of the cars I really wanted the most from this list. If you don't know what that car is, I'm pretty sure it still holds the record at Goodwood Festival of Speed. It is an insanely fast car. It's a fan car. It's electric, stupidly quick. It would be awesome to have in Forza Motorsport. But it seems like it might have been replaced. Now, ideally, in an ideal world, this car is still coming in a future update as a free car rather than a car pass car. That would be fantastic. But it's a shame, really. It's a shame. If we have a look at the leaked car list now, we can see that there's a lot of green on there, but we have to keep that one in black, I'm afraid. There's still a few other cars on the list, like the MC20 that we still haven't got. When are we ever going to get that? A few Formula Drift cars and some other bits and bobs. So that is what the leaked car list looks like as of today. In terms of update 7, as I said, we are getting potentially brands hatch in that update we know there is a track in update 7 we don't know what it is yet but the recent leaks show that there are wordings of brands hatch being in the works it might come in update 7 that is update 6 guys i hope you've enjoyed let me know in the comment section below if you have i'll see you all later